Hello, friends. Thank you for stopping by for today's nugget, the covenant part two. When Noah and his family came out of the ark, they were the only human beings on all the earth. Every other life form on earth, both man and beast, had been destroyed in the flood. And so one of the things God does when they stepped out of the ark is to bless them, to bless Noah and his family. He commanded them to be fruitful and multiply, to bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply in it. But God also makes a covenant promise with Noah, his family, and all his descendants. And as part of that covenant, one of the promises God made was that never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generation. I set my rainbow in the cloud and it shall be for a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. So God makes a covenant, a promise to Noah that he will never again send a flood to destroy the earth. He set the rainbow in the sky as a sign of that promise. This part of Noah's story actually parallels the seventh day of the creation account, the Sabbath. As we are told in Exodus chapter 31 verse 13, the Sabbath is a sign of a covenant between God and his people, a reminder that God is the one who sanctifies us. In the same way, the rainbow is the sign of God's covenant with Noah and his descendants. Also, like the Sabbath, the rainbow has a universal scope. It applies to the whole world, just as the Sabbath, as a sign of creation, is for everyone, everywhere, so that the promise that no other worldwide flood will come is for everyone, everywhere as well. So the next time you see a rainbow, think about God's promises. Not only his promises to Noah, but all his promises. Ever since God made that promise to Noah, there has never been a worldwide flood. And there never will be again. Every rainbow is a reminder that God keeps his promise, all of them. So let us, it be a reminder to us that we can trust the promises of God. And that is the nugget. Thank you for stopping by. Study your lesson. See you tomorrow.